the very first thing I did was read the 180 page script written in the first person. Never read a script in the first person before. Um, I didn't know, I, I don't think he'd ever written a script in the first person. And, but immediately it takes you right into the point of view that he wants you to, it's an Oppenheimer through the eyes of Oppenheimer through like, we are seeing the world as Oppenheimer, which was, so the world I'm designing is through the eyes of Oppenheimer. His brief from the beginning was uh, entirely in camera. Um, he wanted to capture and build everything in the real. He wanted huge scale, huge scope, um, but huge doesn't didn't mean expensive. It, it, it just it, it was about being smart. It was about thinking cinematically, thinking you know thinking grandly, and knowing that we would be shooting entirely on sixty five and IMAX, and with the worlds uh, Los Alamos, Trinity, all of that. He from the get go wanted one hundred percent ground up, no green screen, no blue screen no set extensions, no stages. We would be in the middle of nowhere. We'd be out in the wild. We'd need to hit the road and find our locations. Another important thing for Chris and I was 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 being minimal and keeping, being a period film, covering five decades. Oftentimes period films can get overdressed was our feeling and, and so many things screaming, it's 1928, it's 1936. And we wanted to not have very um, distracting objects on the sets. 